Hello everyone! Good morning! Today I'm going to the hairstylist. After one year and three months, I'm going to the hairstylist. Hence my kind of dirty hair. Guys, we're leaving so soon. In a few days, Brian and I are going to America. That's why I want to go to the hairstylist now. I will still be working in the next few days and it's it still doesn't seem real and for some reason I still feel like they will stop me at the airport they won't let me in because I'm Italian or I don't know I feel like <laughs> but you know that's me that's me I just have to weigh every single negative thing that might happen and then I just feel stressed so if you're wondering what the hell is this video you're right because I don't even know I was editing, I had a lot of footage, I was like, oh, I don't want to erase it because it's definitely, definitely interesting. So yeah, this is the week before we left. Right now, we are in Florida, but I wanted to show you the trip as well. Oh my God, okay. So first, enjoy the week before we left. Good morning. Good morning. You're handsome. Thank you. Babe, where are we going in a few days? USA. And how do you feel? Good. Show them your little smile. Oh, you're cute. Let's go. Guys, do you know what I do less than cutting my hair? Cleaning my car. <laughs> So last night I was watching with Brian. We were watching my old videos from more than a year ago, two years ago. I don't know. I never do that and I did it and I really enjoyed it. And it made me realize that if you are an OG subscriber, like I know that there are some of you who have been following me for a long time. And I feel like if you are one of the old subscribers, you know so much about us, about our life, you've been with us on some adventures, like you were with us when we were in Japan, you were with us when we got married, you were with us, I don't know, I truly now understand and I cannot imagine like YouTubers who have been on YouTube for almost 10 years, that must feel really unique. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. We had five minutes and we had an Italian breakfast with cornetto and cappuccino one more time before leaving. Then I went to the hair salon. Ooh, guys, do you like it? I'm not good at doing my hair, but if I could, I would definitely Let's do it. Let's just say this. you passed me on the hair beauty. I told the hairdresser that you cut your own hair and he was like shaking his head right. doing like oh people did weird things during quarantine I love it we were talking we just said that once we had coffee we felt so much better earlier like we were a little bit grumpier and sleepier I had a little headache and after coffee I was like yeah and sometimes in the morning when I'm working I feel happy in the first like two hours and I'm like oh wow I'm so happy and then I'm like, no, it's coffee. Now we're going to the mall because, okay, first I need to buy a few things before I leave. Second, I want to buy some little, little presents. What? That's always the question. Yes, we went to the mall to get some Italian presents, but don't judge. We've been to America so many times. They have a lot of Italian goods. They've been to Italy, so. Oh, I bought Air Forces. You know, they're my favorite shoes ever, ever. Love them. Okay, we're home and it's time to relax. I have to say that I am feeling way better about going to America. I know, like I, I feel like we've been a bit desensitized. I know, I think it's true, I think it's true. I think now we feel like it's going better and so maybe deep down my anxiety is going way better. I'm excited to see my American family. I'm excited to spend time in Florida because you know guys, I love cultures i love traveling and i think almost three months is a good amount of time to definitely notice some new things and some new differences between the italian culture and the american culture also i will be there for the fourth of july 
so yeah first time experiencing this big american holiday and i'm glad that brian gets to be there with his family i will keep working in america but with the time difference i'll be working like in the morning until the afternoon because i work with a lot of italian people some american people and some taiwanese people so for the american people no problem for the italians i won't be available for the italian mornings but i will work for the italian afternoon and evening taiwan is a little bit more problematic because there's literally a 12 hour difference but oh my god i have a confession to make so i feel like right now i should be giving you an update on my chinese spanish and japanese improvement but guys i'm the worst i haven't been studying spanish and japanese every week as i promised mainly because i didn't have time i worked a lot and i was tired and i didn't have time i did continue with my chinese though because i think it's too early to give up on the chinese and if i did give up now i would probably forget everything so i am still studying chinese regularly like tomorrow i'll have my weekly lesson but that's the only language that i kept studying in the last month regularly i know I promise that I will try and study at least Japanese as well mainly because we're supposed to go to Japan in September I want to be ready I don't have a lot of time right now so I'm sorry but I am working on my Chinese am I good? no but I'm learning a lot now time to relax and watch this Italian Netflix show Kuran Brian doesn't like it, I do We're cute together. We're cute together. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Yes, I've been going to the gym again because I think it's kind of safe. I mean, they only allow four people at a time at my gym. And I think it's a really reasonable amount of people. I never feel like I work out too close to anybody. Okay, I'll leave the camera here. I'm talking to the camera, baby. I'll uh, leave the camera here because it's afternoon. I don't want to bother the other three people who are going to be there. See ya! Now... Oh my god, there's a cat. Hi! That's Brian's mom's cat. And then of course, before leaving, we had to say goodbye to my dad, to my mom. We had a lot of stuff to eat. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Dance, dance, dance with your pizza. Dance with your pizza! Oh my god! Here I brought my camera with me because I thought it would be so cute to show you my dad's girlfriend's dogs. She has five dogs. I think I was able to catch like four of them on camera. This is Alice, super beautiful, super elegant, not too friendly. Here, here for the camera. Oh, he's Galia. This is Gwenda. And this is Matilda. Matilda! And this is Brian. Oh, yeah. And that's Deborah. <laughs> Our last Italian pizzas for us for probably more than two months. Mushrooms for me, pepperoni for Brian. Goodbye dinner with my mom and her boyfriend. Mushrooms, mm, yummy. And then we left. The trip was extremely, extremely stressful. First of all, I don't like to fly. I don't like it. And we had three flights. Second of all, most importantly, they didn't want to let me in. Even though Brad and I are married and uh, we called the embassy, everybody said that it would be okay for me to enter the United States. When I went to the airport for the check-in, they started saying that I needed a special permit and we only had two hours before the plane left. And so we started calling everybody and all the embassies and people, authorities would just tell us, no, you should be able to go. And so we had to convince the lady at the check-in and she, Eventually she said, okay, I think you can go, but in Germany they might stop you, Sonia, so you might have to go back once you arrive there. And so <laughs> the whole trip from Rome to Frankfurt, it was like this stressful thing, like, will I have to go back by myself? Stressful. I didn't have to go back. Eventually they said, okay, but there were so many like screenings and they checked my documents so many times and it was such a long trip. My dad 
drove us to the airport. We left at 6.30. The airport itself was half empty really. There weren't a lot of people, but the first airplane, the first flight, like the Rome to Frankfurt was pretty full. Like I had people sitting next to me. And then in Frankfurt, we had, just, we didn't have a lot of time actually. It was a quick layover. We just had a croissant coffee and we left. This flight was definitely better in the sense that it was half empty. Maybe it was like 30-40% full so definitely nicer but it was really really long. At least I was able to have my vegetarian food so not too bad but at this point we were really tired. And then the third flight was from New Jersey, Newark to Tampa. Yeah we were definitely tired and then in Tampa Chris Brian's brother and Jim, Brian's dad, they came, they picked us up and they drove us to their home. We're home. We did it. Guys, thank you for watching this weird <laughs> vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Now we are safe. We, I took like two or three days just to relax because I was really, really, really tired. But here I am making videos again. Tomorrow I'll start teaching again. So actually, look at Brian now. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.